going on everybody just a quick little bench shop up shop bench update whatever you want to call it the um, the Etzel is in the process of being reworked um, I'm addressing some issues with the dash and addressed an issue with the spindles Chris uh, Mr. Chris Cortell you were absolutely correct correct sir I had the spindles in upside down that's what I get for not paying attention lesson learned but anyway that's gonna I'm gonna use that kit as a filler you know fill in time for when I'm not working on something else which I've always freaking seem to have four or five going at the same time. I don't know how in the hell I managed to do that. I've got a Corsair sitting over there that I'm working on. I've got a Gundam I'm working on. Of course, the 68 Volkswagen that I'm working on. And I'm sure I could find another one that I would love to start. I know I could find another one. I'm looking at three right now that I'd love to start. But anyway... Wanted to share this kit with you, or this build with you right here. This C47, the Dakota, is something that I built before I even started my channel. And I actually just finished it back, well, put the finishing piece on it, which is this plaque at the bottom. Put that plaque on it back in October so I can now officially call it complete. And I'll attempt to read this to you. But there's some names in there that, or yeah, some names that I I know I can't pronounce. On September the 19th, 1944, the C-47 Dakota KG-374 crashed. The 271st Squadron aircraft was based at Down Amp Ampney. The mission was to drop supplies for the airborne troops at Arnhem in the vicinity of I have no freaking idea. The aircraft was hit by the aircraft was hit by flak. The starboard engine caught fire. Pilot Flight Lieutenant David Lord decided to continue the mission when he discovered that the supply dropping point V was occupied by Germans. He decided to drop it the load on landing zone S. Immediately after this was done, done Lord ordered the crew to bail out. Shortly after the starboard wing collapsed and the aircraft crashed, only the navigator Henry King survived. He joined the Paras of the 10th Battalion the next day and became a POW. And there's the names of the victims. But that's a Dakota that I'd done some time back. It was also my first time with um, hairspray technique as far as weathering goes. And I did get a little heavy handed in places. Yeah, I especially got heavy handed over here around that cargo door I, yeah but this kit was a 70 I think the directions had a date on them of 71 if I remember right like I said it's been several years since I built this four or five years probably since I built that with the help of a buddy from England the uh, like I said the directions had a date on them for 71, 72, somewhere along in there. And the decals in there were just absolutely destroyed. <clears throat> so my buddy from England sent me over some decals, and it just so happened that they were for KG-374, and I researched the plane, and that, what I read you, is the information, all the information I could find on the, on this plane. And I just thought that that little plaque would be a kind of a tribute to them 
you know, the guys that died in that, in that crash. Supplying or dropping supplies. I really appreciate all the uh, feedback and comments on the Edsel. Like I said, uh, Chris, you hit the nail on the head, buddy. I had the spindles in upside down. But, uh, you know, that now it's really not high on my list of priorities as far as uh, kit uh, building goes. I got several that I need to finish. My wife threatened me. She said, you, I'm going to take and hide all your kits and except for the ones that you started. So I can't start anymore. Well, I didn't. I don't think she realized how many I had because she uh, she got off that bandwagon real quick. But anyway, just a quick update, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. And until the next update, I don't know what it'll be on, what it'll be of. Only time will tell. But until the next time, everybody take care and have a great week.